guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a quick little video to share with you guys today. Some new KVD beauty that I picked up the other day from Ulta Beauty. This is their new Surreal Bloom Metallic Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. Look at the cover art on there. The hummingbirds and the flowers. I think that is really pretty. It is a tin packaging. And then when we open it up, these are the six different all shimmer shadows that you're going to get. I'll insert some swatches here, but I thought this was really cute. And you can remove this whole component, and I think you can depot these and put them in your own palette and then use this tin for something else. But I thought it was really pretty, and KVD doesn't always come out with a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I picked up the one they had last year, and I'll probably use that one in today's video just because I I do need some mattes to create uh, the two looks, but um, I liked it. I thought it was cool. It retails for $28, as does this lippy combo. So we're getting a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. I am wearing both of them already. Let me just swatch these really quick on the back of my hand. That I know of, this was the only lip set that they dropped, but I think the shades are really pretty. There you can see the smaller one is the liner, the darker one is the liquid lipstick. I've had this on for about half an hour already and it feels really comfortable. It's definitely a matte liquid lipstick and I like it. I think it's going to be very complimentary to this eyeshadow palette. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup, especially new indie makeup, eyeshadow palettes, foundations. I love a good old foundation review, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. I do makeup ranking videos. We just try it all here and we have a fabulous time while talking about the makeup. If that sounds good to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of KVD Beauty or maybe you saw these at Ulta and you're curious about them, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, I will have everything that I'm wearing, which I'm wearing quite a few KVD products on this face. I'll have it all linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's dive on into this new KVD holiday collection. That's what I'm going to call it. If you guys want to see these new goodies in action, keep on watching. Now I've already primed my eyelids with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Primer and here is, I need to be careful with this one because one of the shades was broken, but here is the KVD palette from last year and this one is in cardboard packaging. You do get more shades in this one. The name of this one is Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette and let me just open it up and that's what it looks like. I do have a video over this so um, I'll hopefully remember and have it linked in the description box in case you want to check out uh, my review and some looks with this palette. Um, what I think I'm going to do is, let me take a look. So let me just hold them up side by side or one on top of the other. So there you go. The new one is at the top. The old one is at the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is start with uh, those two top shades. This one right here, I'll go in with that shade first, and then I'll go into this other one. I'm glad that we have a black, matte black down here. Um, I'm thinking maybe I can do the matte black, like pack it all over the lid for the second look. Before this first look, I'm going to start off with the shade Floral Eclipse. I'm taking that shade on a refer 16. I hope that this eyeshadow palette, the garden palette that I'm getting these mattes from, I hope it's still in stock. I'm not entirely sure. It was like a holiday release last year. But um, if it's not, I'm sure you have some of these similar matte shades in your collection. I just wanted to see if I could, you know, use as much KVD makeup as possible. I like that. That is a really pretty shade. Nice transition shade. Now on a BK211, I'm taking the shade called Lunar Soil. I'm going to focus that in the crease and also in the outer corner. There's a really pretty matte green, like a grungy green in this palette. 
and I'll probably use it in this look for the lower lash line. So I want to try and use two shimmer shadows here on the lid. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice crease shade. Very neutral. It'll go with everything. I love the way these shadows are blending out a year later and they are still working. We love to see that. All right, so now it's time to dip into the Surreal Bloom palette. I want to use this beautiful purple shadow. I think I want to do the purple and gold, perhaps even this shade. Maybe do this in the center. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on these three right here, and I'm going to start first with the purple. I'm using my damp Morphe M124. Ooh, that is pretty. Little bit of fallout from that. Oh, I like that. That's a really pretty shade. Now, these shadows there, and I'm speaking from experience with that other palette that I'm using, um, they're not like insanely shimmery, you know, or sparkly. These are not our indie brand duochromes or multichromes. And not everybody likes that, I understand. But these are more along the lines of traditional shimmers. But they still look really pretty. I like that, I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna go in with that orangey shimmer shadow. Same brush, I just flipped it over and I'm spraying it again. I'm gonna apply that right here to the inner portion. I'll clean up all of that fallout once I get into doing the finishing touches. I like that. Ooh, that is really, really good. Okay, now with my finger, I'm going to pick up the gold. That's what it looks like. Just gonna apply it right here. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. That is a beautiful fall eye look. I love it. I love it. Okay, you know what? This fallout is getting annoying. <laughs> Let me get a brush and just brush it away. Now, I do want to do that green, of course, for the lower lash line, and it is this shade right here. And I'm using a BK207 to apply. I think I'm going to bring the gold down a little bit, the one I applied in the center. I love a shade of green like this, like a moss green. Any time of year, I'll take it. Now I'm using a BH Cosmetics pencil brush for that gold shimmer shadow in the new palette. And I think we have a completed look here. I like this. I'm going to take care of liner, mascara, all that good stuff off camera. I do have the latest mascara from KVD. It's a tubing mascara, which I have been enjoying. Um, so I'll use that. I won't do any lashes today. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look number one. I really love the way this look turned out. Again, I'm using the latest mascara from KVD Beauty. This is their new tubing mascara. I love the packaging on it. It's really, really nice packaging, um, and I have had a good experience so far with it. It's been in my stash for I would say a good month now. Rare Beauty Eyeliner to tight line the top lash line for the lower waterline, a NYX Epic Wear Smoky Liner in the shade Sage Sparks. Love it, very easy to create, very soft fall vibes from this look. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on the second look. Okay, so let's take a look at the new palette. We have three shades right here that we definitely need to utilize in the second look. So let me go back into the palette from last year. And so this is also like more of a shimmer heavy palette, but I did say I wanted to pack the matte black all over the lid and just see what happens. I think what I wanna do though is go in with this shade and then blend into the black. 
I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to start with Petal Nebula. And then the black shade down here is called Void Pond. Using my Game Beauty E01. Now in a BK203, I'm taking the matte black. I'm just going to start packing it on the lid and then I'll use probably my Refer 13 to just blend the edges a bit and kind of make sure we have a good shape. Now I'm actually using the BK A504 just to blend right in here in the crease, blend out the outer corner a bit, and then we'll start applying those beautiful shimmer shadows. I'm going back in with a little bit of the first shade just to blend again, try to make it look look pretty good, get this hair out of the way. All right, I think that looks looks pretty decent. Um, let's go in now with the shimmers. So I'm gonna do this one on the outer portion. This one for the inner portion, and then this one for the inner corner. Using my damp Morphe M, I was going to say the M709, it's the M124, that's my favorite. Same brush, now I'm going in with that pale blue shimmer. That's pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of the first one back. Okay, that is really pretty. Love it, love it. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade over here from last year's palette, Astral Oasis. I'm using a damp BH Cosmetics pencil brush. Now we're gonna go and use the last shade in this new palette, and it's gonna be this one right here for the inner corner. Same brush, I did spray it. That's really pretty. Okay guys, I am going to take care of those finishing touches off camera. I have a new ColourPop liner. It's, um, I think it was from that Sailor Moon collection. I picked this one up, so I, I think I'm gonna use that for the lower lash line. Then I'll be right back and show you the completed look number two. All right, guys, so here is the completed look number two. Love it. I love the blue. This palette turned out to be pretty all right, pretty all right. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. I went in with my new ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Crystal Tokyo, and I did pick this up from Ulta. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video, and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on these new KVD goodies for holiday 2023. Okay, guys, so I had a really good time, a good experience with these new KVD products. This is the box that the Lippy set came in, and it's called Queen of Poisons. So here they are right here, like the packaging of them both. I want to show you the water jug I've been sipping out of. It's clean. This has not been transferring. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these uh, or this lip liner and liquid lipstick. I think the shade is really pretty. It's a year round shade or maybe you want to just reserve it for fall, but it's really comfortable. I've definitely had this uh, lipstick on and lip liner for over an hour already and it feels very comfortable, not extremely drying or anything like that. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. This is a cute little six pan palette, all shimmer shadows. So you'll need to bring in your favorite mattes the way I did uh, with last year's KVD um, holiday palette. If this is still available, I will have it linked in the description box. I did enjoy this palette. This one again is the Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. This one over here is called Surreal Bloom Metallic Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. Some of you might pick this up just for the packaging alone. And for the fact that you can remove, it has a little lip right here, you can remove the tray completely. Let's see if I can do, there we go. So you can remove all of this completely and then you have this at the bottom and you can use this maybe for travel, for jewelry, what not. I think it is just really, really pretty. I thought that all of the shimmer shadows that were included in here 
very complementary to one another. Um, again, these are not like the indie duo chromes. These are more traditional shimmer shadows, but I still thought that they packed a punch. And I think this is a really cute palette. Both items retail for $28 and I did pick them up online in Ulta. I think they might be available in store already. Let me know your thoughts now, guys. What did you think of this new KVD holiday collection? Did you pick any of these items up? Are you going to be picking them up? Also, let me know which look was your favorite. Are you team one, team two, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know if these new KVD goodies are going to be in your future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay yeah. hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.